got to clean that underneath the wall. And uh, I'm going to pull all the insulation up that I can, put it in the garbage bag. I tell you what, I don't know if it's the dust or if it's the pollen. It's got my sinuses just kicking in overdrive. Man. <sighs> yeah, Jamie's helping. She's sleeping. <laughs> so I can get back after it, I guess. Well, I got the insulation pulled out as much as I can underneath this section of floor. I'll wait as I keep doing a floor section. I'll keep removing more and more. But I found something that uh, I might go ahead and fix. See this block here and that concrete pad? That, well, my trailer is not level again. And so as I keep tearing down a couple floor sections at a time, I'm going to go ahead and pour any footers. So I'm going to go ahead and move this stuff and dig a hole. And then go ahead and tear all this out and get a new piece of wood, fit it pull it back up and then pour my concrete in the hole. I am just dealing with this dumb footer that they poured. I'm trying to get it up because what I think I'm gonna do is dig out around it, set it back down in the hole flat and then come back over it with a couple bags of concrete and pour on top of it. That's what I'd be doing. I think it'd work out pretty decent, but this sucks. multi-two blades suck. Okay, <clears throat> I'm not sure how this is going to turn out because my screen on my phone, it's almost just completely black. So I just thought I would try to give you guys an up-to-date what all I got done as you can see here got the floor done this is the end of the kitchen floor right here so I'm not gonna come forward until I get quite a bit of progress done with the kitchen and right now I'm just trying to clean up and kind of regroup and, and make my you know I made me a counter here I'm gonna put my sink back hook it up make it where I can function in the kitchen and then I will continue doing whatever I do in here I messed up if you look right here somehow when laying the floor panels down i got them crooked and so i got it square with the the original piece of floor and then i had a gap here i just had to suck it up and you know i just filled it up with some high uh high expanding foam and that's, it is what it is you know if i put lulon over top of it i never see it so anyway this is what this is i needed my workspace back it sucked that I had to tear down my little bar. So I built this out of scrap. All this is a three quarter inch piece of plywood that I cut off the ends here of the full sheet. And I found this underneath the trailer. And so I got it straight and I recut it. And I just put one screw into the floor and here this and there's my workstation. <laughs> I mean, it works for right now. You know, I'm not trying to, to make it super awesome right now because i'm just trying to get my repairs done and then later down the road i can figure this out but in order to make it look more presentable i was just going to hit it with some of this sandpaper and i've got some uh, early american rust-oleum wood stain and i also have some of the kona so since i don't have a whole lot of the kona i figure i would stain this and then use the early american up here so that's what i'm going to do I apologize if the video did not come out at all and if I cannot follow up until I get a new phone in probably about four or five days. So this is what I'm doing, folks. <laughs> 